How's it going, everybody? Today we're going to be playing some Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. And this is specifically for Nahil Omnia, who uh, donated on my stream. And he was like, he wanted a Baba Yaga specific game. I was like, sure, why not? Let's do it for the YouTube. Plus, I wanted to do a Baba Yaga game for YouTube anyways. So, hey, it works out. We're up against a diamond outpost. We're against Editic. Hey, what do you know? Editic was just messaging me yesterday about how he got number one outpost duel. And I was like, I'm going to take it from you next, next split. Editic's a great guy. Uh... Ooh, what do we want to build, man? I kind of want to go Tainted still, actually. Uh, Vamp Shroud would be okay, but I think the normal healing Baba Yaga build wouldn't be that good against that Uh Bancrofts would still be fine. You know what, actually? No, Book of Thoth. Book of Thoth. Oh, God, I got to sell something. And I'm going to go uh, Ages. Okay. So... <clears throat> My thought process is, let's go Book of Thoth, because we can get the stacks pretty easily with Baba Yaga passive. Because as the house moves around, uh, you can get stacks on items. And, you know, builds up the meter and you get stacks. So we're going to do that. We're going to go Book of Thoth. I don't... Normally I would go a Vampiric Shroud type build. Um, with, like, Bancroft's Typhons on, on Baba Yaga. It's pretty good. But into Apwash. Apwash has anti heal on the one. And oh, he's going to steal this because I was so late. I was so late. But normally, yeah. Just Apwash has too much anti heal on his one and ultimate. So I don't think it's a good idea. Wait, did I. Heal? <gasps> Dude, this matchup's a counter matchup. Oh no! Oh no, this matchup's a complete counter matchup. Because if I'm low health, the house heals me. But. If I get healed, then I get stunned from Outwash 3. Oh my goodness. This matchup's a complete counter matchup. Yeah, I'm going to get stunned again. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Well. Can't say I didn't try, right? Yeah, Outwash 3 stuns you if you heal. But if I'm even next to my house and I'm not full health, I heal. So... <laughs> you could get a guaranteed stun on me every single time. Wow, that's insane. That's so good. I would say the only bigger counter matchup is Outwash into Chiron, because whenever Chiron uses an ability. This might even be a bigger counter matchup, quite honestly, because at least Chiron can choose not to use an ability. He still has auto attacks. Baba Yaga just gets countered out of the way. Dang, dude. That is unlucky. I guess I could try to stay away from my house. Kind of like now. Nah, this is, this is it. Your three stuns me because my house heals me. Oh my goodness, dude. <clears throat> That's such an insane counter matchup. What I might do is I think I might I should probably do two Baba games. I might be the one who F6 early. Because I don't think I could win this even in the late. Yeah, because if I F6 as early, we could do two Baba games. Because this one's quite honestly, I don't think it's gonna be that good. Well kinda interesting though. I never thought about that. I never thought about that. I do like Baba Yaga, but man. Okay, but the house is away from me. I don't get killed. That's good. Your middle tower is under attack. Oh. All right, he's half health. <clears throat> I'll still I'll still try until five minutes, and then we'll see. Uh, oh, I'm about to get stunned again. <laughs> No, no. All right, you guys. I will. I want to include this early part of the game, like this first game, if only, even though, like, obviously I'm gay destroyed, if only because it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool that Baba Yaga gets countered like crazy by Alpwash because who knows? Uh, I don't, I mean, I don't know how many people thought that, thought about that, you know? But I think I'm going to F6 this and I'll get into another Baba game right away for you guys. 
All right, here we are, attempt number two at Baba Yaga. We're up against a set. And this time I will go the normal, I would say healing build type thing with Baba Yaga. It's pretty, pretty strong. I've fought it a lot. I've played it a lot. Uh, it's basically if you go Vamp Shroud into Bancroft's Typhons. And hell, if you want to make it late, super late game, you could throw in some items that stack. But uh, you don't really need to. Uh, one thing, if you want to, like, optimize your Baba Yaga gameplay, I mean, it, does, it really doesn't matter. But if you leave base immediately, the house gets more essence, I guess. The more you're, like, moving around and stuff. So, yeah, if you're just walking around the map and stuff, you gotta... You get a little bit more of that. It doesn't matter that much, but you know, if you want to. Now you can hold an extra potion of Bobby Artist 2 in your consumable slot, but I have uh, health and mana potions right now, so we're not gonna do that. Get out of the cell. All right, good start. Cleared pretty much way, way faster than the set. He's going blue stone into some defense, which I'd say is pretty standard on set. I just hope he doesn't go frostbound, but even if he does, I started sprint. Uh, hmm. I don't know why I'm taking this. I started sprint mostly because uh, when set alts and locks you down with his one, the slow is really what kills you. If you can sprint away, it's not that big of a deal. Try to use his one, but he's actually stuck in the seconds. That's funny. Oh, okay, yeah, now can I take this? Please, good set. Very much like this red buff. I don't think he's gonna let me take this. Maybe? No, he's not even here. Alright. Free red buff. Pretty good. I just want the XP and gold, really. Alright, now we back. We're not back, but we're gonna take this first. Okay. I'm assuming that's going to be a runic shield. It could also be an ansel. I think it's less likely, but who knows. Those items are pretty good overall. They used to be so super broken. And then they finally nerfed them, thank goodness. Let's get this. And I'll probably use my mana potion in the next fight. That way I can start holding an extra potion. It's generally good uh, burst to have on Baba Yaga, being able to use the two twice. And if he doesn't go with Sprint, I'm not a big fan of Gem Vice, though. But on Baba Yaga, her ult hits so hard. If you can keep them in it just by a little bit, it shreds. So, yeah, I, mean, I might consider that. We got the O. We got the Y. The Y is the best letter in the Baba Yaga one. For anyone that doesn't play Baba Yaga, you can see what effect and shape you have here. And here's the ability menu if you want to go through it. Like, she's got a slow, she's got a protection buff, she's got, like, a movement speed buff. Ooh, if he stays, we can indeed kill him. If he doesn't stay, he's already going to miss out on all these minions. So, let's see. I do want to kill him. I really do. Okay, good poke. The longer we delay his back, the more... Yes, it's annoying, but also the more gold and XP he's missing out on. Oh, that was terrible. Okay, now we're getting to the point where he might kill me because he's shell, so I gotta be careful. I wonder how uh, Bumba's Hammer would work on Baba Yaga if you, with her too. I wonder if you could, like, infinitely proc it. I'm gonna try that. Ah, he got out. That's okay. Now we just recall. He missed out on a lot of XP and gold of the wave. As you can see, we're about 300 gold ahead. And uh, we're, we're like almost level 8. So we're like maybe like half a level ahead. I can't actually see his XP bar, so I'm not sure. But I just have a feeling. Yep, there's our level 8. Yeah, the Y, you can hit them three times if you hit it perfectly. Also, we got a full damage potion, which is fantastic. Whoops. Okay, let's place a ward. Nice, he's backing off. All right, let's take the XP caps. 
Bobby Iago is definitely more late game than early game. Pretty much uh, no matter what build you go on her. Excuse me. I'm th I think kind of want a vamp a what's it called? Warlock Sash maybe? I think it could be good against that to keep him from one shotting me. Oh, I really want to lay this back. He did go answer. He walked all the way back, which is good, because that means I can steal his blue buff. Um, he might get over here kind of fast, but we should be safe. Yep, we got his blue, so it's okay that he got red buff. Um, I will happily give up red buff. It means I can steal their blue buff and get my blue buff. Two buffs are better than one. I tried to hit him there. Yeah, he ulted, so we're going to back up completely. If he dives us, we ult. Definitely don't need to. We're in a pretty nice spot here. Either way. Do I really want to kill him here? But he's just going to teleport over the wall or something like that. Yeah. yeah he's already so far. Should've just saved the all. I knew he was gonna get away anyways. Uh, but that's okay. By the way, we win the engagement. We push a wave under his tower. He's losing XP and gold, and I get my own blue buff. So I'm pretty happy with that overall. He's going double defense, okay. Hey, you do you, right? You know, I am gonna go for a Warlocks. Warlocks gives 10% pen too. It's a pretty underbuilt item because it's hard to get online. And it's not that much better than items that don't stack. But here, I mean, I think it's good because it makes me tankier. Gives me some pen. Gives me some power. I mean, it's good overall. We still want uh, Titan's Fang at some point. If we want uh, to optimize our healing. Oh, the pencil actually stops my leap. That's interesting. I almost hit him with that. Also, I'm just going to pop my, my blue buff. I mean, my potion. I really want to be able to save the second potion. Wait. I've said that for a while. Okay, that's an attack speed reduction potion. That could be good if he, if he ults us. Get out of here. Lower his attack speed by a ton. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. Uh, let's place a ward and go after the go after the XP camp. Yep, he's got Ansel Shoguns, so he's a tanky boy right now. He's a tanky lad, but he doesn't do too much damage, so I'm not really afraid of him. Let's lower his attack speed, and if he looks like he's diving, let's halt, turn, turn and burn. Quite fast. I would love a jump ISO actually. Oh, that almost hit him. I can't get him. Man, I want to stop this back, but if we don't, I mean, I still get red buff. So, yeah, let's go get red. Good stuff overall. Again. Uh, it's not it's not so bad if he like recalls if we're actually getting something if we're getting buff That means we're getting ahead if we're pushing tower under wave We're getting ahead, you know, it's those, it's those little things Like a pretty damn important thing in duels you don't want to back if a wave is coming and you don't have to back But some, sometimes you got it. Sometimes you got it. Oh, that was weird that Ansel's working a lot better for him than I thought it would Again, I'm not really too afraid of him because he doesn't have like any actual damage items. He doesn't have anti heal either, so even if he pokes me, I just want to heal it back up. Um, I think it would be good to back pretty soon. Ooh, but I can steal his blue buff if we want to get needy and greedy. Needy and greedy, you know? Pretty low on mana, so this is very greedy. But my ult up soon, and that's pretty much a get out of jail free card. I just hope he doesn't steal my blue buff.
Or I can just take it to make sure he doesn't. We'll give up XP camp. It's worth. I'm much using all my mana on this one. Okay. All right, now we recall. We have a ton of gold. I should have recalled earlier to get some more stacks. That's all right. And you know what? Nah, 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 nah. We'll go to Titans. I, I, I really don't feel like I need defense quite yet because of the build he's going. Like, it's he's going such a tanky build that... And he gets no anti-heal. That's like, it doesn't really matter. I don't really need defense because I can just heal it up and he's not doing that much damage anyways. So yeah, we're good. We're good. I got some wards we should probably place up pretty soon. I'm going to place one here. And I'm going to place one right on Demon King. So that if he goes for it, I can maybe not steal it, but I might be able to kill him if he tries to sneak it. Okay, that's his ultimate. Actually knocked him back to the wall there, which is good. And he's out. So, yeah, that's about as expected. Let's save a potion. I'm actually going to try to delay his back here. Now, here's the problem. Here's the problem as Baba Yaga. I cannot take Demon King. Yeah, I, I can't take Demon King. So, any chance we can get to poke tower at this point in the game, we need to just do it. Like, I guess I can take Demon King, but it's just super risky. Oh, I did not mean to save that potion. That was an accident. We're good. We're dead again. He doesn't do too much damage. We heal a ton off the wave. This is fine. Okay. Let's poke him a little bit more if we can. Otherwise, we'll just take red buff. Yeah, we're taking red buff. This is going really well. We're playing this well. I don't think his build is the best build, but again, it's pretty common on set to just go a ton of defense items. Don't know why. It's just, I guess, the way people like to play him. Let's try to do a little bit more damage to tower. Okay, that's his ult. I might wait until the last moment to ult. I actually got behind him and knocked him into my tower, and he's out again. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I didn't think he had that up. That's all good. I did cancel my ult because I thought he was like, out, out. I didn't think he was going to turn around like that. But even if I stayed in my ult, I still would have died. Uh, let's let's get start working on our defense now because we do start need to get some now. Um, let's like get like a press plate. And he gets tower. That's kind of the way of set. That's okay. It's not too big of a deal. He's going for my blue buff. And he might go for Demon King. That ward should stay up for long enough for me to know. He went Berserkers, even though I'm a magical god. Uh, kind of interesting. I would really, really, really like to get this. Oh, he was recalling right there. I'd really like to get this tower. There we go. Now we're pretty even. Even Steven. The ideal thing to do is if we have our alt and he teleports onto me, then he wouldn't be able to get away, you know? That would be ideal. Also, let's back and get some wards. I really don't want to be in the dark here. Ooh, look at that potion I just brewed. Uh, three da- oh, I thought it was four damage. Never mind. The red gives damage, the blue slows, the green does attack reduction. The red's generally the best one. He is getting Frostbound, but I already have Sprint, so it doesn't matter too much. I mean, we could think about a Wing Blade, but eh, Wing Blade against Set isn't that fun. They're all because he's already used his escape. Nah, but we can't even hit him that much. Hmm. 
It's problematic. Because, I yes, I keep winning the fights. I'm winning almost every single fight. But we can't do much with it because Baba Yaga cannot take Demon King. We only have one item slot left. So we have to think carefully. We get a Wingblade to play safe. We could get a... Uh, Polly to possibly take objectives, but we're gonna be crazy over Captain Life, so we already are a little bit. Um, we could get Rod of Tahuti or something for more damage. I don't know. That one didn't have any power potions, fortunately. Red buff, I think. I really don't want him taking red buff. Okay, now he's going for it. Okay. Alright, set. You've got three defense items, even though one's only physical. And a health item. Okay, that's him leaving. I would push this wave, but he's just gonna be able to defend it anyways. I'll just take red buff. It's worth it. All right, let's recall. We got Warlock's voice stacked, 145 magical power, 10% pen. And somehow, honestly, Warlock's not that great. <laughs> If I'm being quite honest. And he's we can leave right now. He's going for the game. He's cheesing it, dude. One reason I don't like Demon King is because there's gods that can take it so fast. Okay, he's not doing it. Uh, that you don't even have enough time to react to it. He's just warding it. Fair enough. Not that I can take it anyways. I foresee a crossing of blades. That frostbound is pretty problematic. Oh, is he oh, did he has a he has a wave? I didn't realize. Oh no, I didn't realize he had a wave. I thought. Oh no, he's just taking it without a wave. Never mind. Wow, that sucks. Dude, he took the he took Phoenix so fast. He must have had like one minion or something. I just didn't realize. I didn't realize he had a wave. I thought he only had the wave over here. I'm gonna have to look back at that and see what happened. Ah, what a big mistake! Big mistake. It happens, but it's kind of frustrating because it's like if you're playing a top tier god and you make a mistake like that, it doesn't really mean much. But if you're the if you're the lower tier god. And you make a mistake like that. It's it's so bad. Uh, Alright, I think I'm gonna go a rod of Tehuti. Just it gives more pen, gives more power. It's good stuff overall. I wanna just be able to kill him fast. He surprisingly doesn't have like an insane amount of power. Uh no reason to defend Demon King, because my Phoenix is already down. If anything, I actually want him to take Demon King now. Because it means when my Phoenix spawns, he won't be able to go for Demon King. Because it'll be down. Uh, I, I never understood that. You should not go for Demon King if you just took Phoenix. It's not good to do that. Because you, because you lose so much like pressure that you could have had if you had just waited until the Phoenix was coming back up. Now he wants to fight. I did skip on the jump by so, because I didn't think he would help us as much. When he has this much defense, jump by so can't help as much. If he only had two defense items, then yeah. But nah, we need, we need something with more power and pen. Otherwise, he'll just live forever. And even if he stays in our entire call, he wouldn't do that much. We get our last item pretty soon. 
He is going one anti-heal item, which is a little problematic, but not that big of a deal. Really don't want to use my sprint here. Oh, it's stressful. I wonder if it'd be crazy to swap something for a book of those to have book of those warlocks and just have a huge amount of power. Yeah, and once again, now my Phoenix is up, and he can't take Demon King, so I can actually defend this. Plus, he goes for it like that. That's worth, I'd say. Well, I mean, him getting Phoenix sucks for me, but killing him is really good. Actually, what I'm going to do now is I have 25 seconds. I don't think that wave is going to let me take Demon, take this. Oh, wait. Demon King's not even up yet. I thought it was going to come up soon. All right, we'll just go on right then. I'm misjudged. I thought, I thought Demon King would be up in a little bit. I'm misjudged. That's okay. By the way, he's back now. That's his teleport and pretty much everything. We're safe from the slow. That's good. All right, we're fine. Let's upgrade our item. Start getting Rod of Hootie. My magics can be done with sticks and stones, but fancy schmancy Actually, pack an extra nah, nah, I was thinking, I was thinking like Karen's would work on Baba because you can actually stack it, but Karen's got nerfed. I think we just stick with the Rod of Beauty. Okay, we just need a little bit more gold. I won't lie, you guys. I've made a lot of mistakes this game, but we're still in it. Um, I don't try to pretend to be I'm a perfect player, you know what I mean? I'm definitely not. Uh, there's definitely room for improvement. That's okay. The important thing is to learn from those mistakes and take it and move on, right? We do need to play a little bit far back, though. For now. Get out of And get my power potion soon, then I'll want to fight more. He got Frost Talus. I don't think that's that good. My goodness, dude. Set is such a high tier god. It's such a good god. It's really difficult to deal with this, but that's okay. He has a lot more health now that he has Toxblade, Frost Alice, and all that. Keep in mind, where is his damage? <laughs> he has, like, Kesekata, which isn't that big of damage. I guess Berserkers is his power item, okay? His defense item is his power item. Ugh. Toxic Blade gives no power. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny that Warlocks isn't even that good in late game. And he's going straight for my objective because he's very cool. All right, here's the thing. My relics are keeping me alive. And warlocks, eh, it's okay. I'm thinking about what item I want to swap out. Warlocks isn't helping me as much as I would like it to. I do have 690 power. 
with 20% pen. with his teleport. He has that constantly, man. I can't kill him in one go and he can't kill me in one go. We're at a stalemate. We're at a stalemate until he sells some defense for some power or something. Let's upgrade this. I kind of want Relic Dagger. I won't mind. The more I have Sprint Aegis, the better. But also, I need the ability to kill him. I foresee a crossing of blades. We can sell Bancroft, but Bancroft is giving us a lot of power. We are overcapped on life still. Could sell Bancroft for a poly. That way, if I kill him, I can actually take something. We've only killed him once, though. Did he take a red buff again? He did not. I can't pick that up yet. I can't pick it up in 10 seconds, though. Unless he's here, then that might be a little problematic. Is that a wing blade? No. I thought I saw... No, it is a wing blade. Yeah, he got swapped out his defense. Or more defense. Surprise, surprise. No longer has Berserkers, which was, again, his only damage. Yeah, now it's, his build's even worse. <laughs> his build's even worse now because now he has no damage at all and he can't kill me. Good. <laughs> Couldn't get that red buff, which kind of sucks, but oh well. I think we win this. It's just a matter of patience. Because now I actually have a decent amount of damage. Even without Molly, I'll just start cooking this down and stuff. So annoying. Ooh, Imagine, dude. One. Oh, he's going Four straight for the objective again. <laughs> Holy boy. I, I kinda. I'm having a rough time with it because he's so damn fast, dude. Oh, it's fine. He's so damn fast. He's wiggling about with like three. Four movement speed items. Okay. I really don't want to lose this just because of how he's building. It's like frustrating. I don't want to lose that. Okay. I'm gonna let the Phoenix hit me, get me low health. That way I get way more power. If you look at my power, how much I have. I get a huge, I get a huge amount of power and low health. And that's because of Bancroft's Titans. I don't know if we should stay. Like, my ult will do a lot of damage to Titan, but uh, again, if he kills me, it's game over. That's his ult. That's so good. That's so good, because he can't chase me, because he just used his teleport. Good. He's just gonna get his teleport again, though. But we can chase him. Let's try to. Ah, just barely. Nah, he's gonna heal to full health. Let's just take a red buff. Red buff. Look, we'll get a huge amount of power, and then we end. Now that Phoenix is down, now that Phoenix is down, we can do so much more. Again, a game of patience, but it's all good. Okay. Uh, let's get this, let's get this. And let's get some wards, because that would suck so much if this ends with a backdoor. I can only do so much to stop a backdoor, but, you know, I don't want it to end that way. And I do not put it beyond the set to try to backdoor me. Looks like he's going for actually. 
which is fine. I think he's not up for a while. He takes Demon King on the push. I want the pressure on his side of the map, not mine. Ooh, that potion's really good. Don't know where he is. Yet. Try to save our escape for when he uses it. That's his wing blade. If I go in and ult Titan, it will do a lot of damage, but I can't guarantee I won't die before Titan dies. That's the problem. And every second we're here, we're wasting his Demon King, so that's good. Okay, that's that. That's his escape. I'm definitely using all my stuff on Titan here. There we go, dude. GG. Uh, get I like what? How do you describe this at build? Quad defense with movement speed with Frost Talus. It's about as annoying as you get. It's not a good set build, but it's an annoying set build. I think if he went a little bit more power, he could actually kill me when I ult. Um, but instead he was not able to So GG's uh, There's the Baba game. I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, I learned a couple things today such as I learned that Baba Yaga gets countered by a posh like hard I hope you guys learned some stuff and again. I made a lot of mistakes in the game. I don't pretend to be a perfect player But I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys next time